Can you repeat that? If you find yourself misunderstanding conversations or constantly turning up the volume on the television, you could be experiencing some level of hearing loss. Approximately 48 million Americans cope with some form of the issue. May is Better Speech and Hearing Month. Dr. Rob Danoff is here this morning and he wants us all to listen up. Dr. Rob, good morning. Hi, good morning. So how common is some form of hearing loss? You know, it's actually pretty common. One in five adults throughout their lifetime has some type of hearing loss. Mm. One in three over the age of 65. But you know what the biggest concern is? Those young people between 20 and 69, they're starting to have hearing problems and Call the sound of silence. You may not notice it initially. Maybe you were at a big rock concert and you said, oh, my ears will get used to it. Yeah. But over five, ten years, it may start to affect. So it's our younger generation, noise-induced hearing loss, that we're really concerned about. So that's interesting. So if you are younger, how do you know? Or if you're not, how do you know when you should get tested? You know, a lot of times it's down the road. So, for example, you may ask people to repeat themselves. Like, what did you just say? Mm. Or you may have trouble hearing somebody in a crowd or at a party. Uh, you also may have frequent complaints by others that, why is your TV so loud or the radio? Turn it down, you're in the car. Come on, I can hear it. Right. Or you might have this ringing or a hissing sound in your ear, we call tinnitus, and that could really block hearing or can show that there's some damage. So it's really important to get that checked. So what happens during a hearing test? You know, there's different things. So first, you may come to our office, and we're going to take a look in your ear. You say, you're having some trouble hearing. I want to make sure your ear canal is fine. There's no wax or blockage, no infection. Mm. But say everything is cool. Then I might give you a test to try to find out, make sure your eardrum is working fine. But then we may see how your hearing is, what frequencies you're hearing or not. For example, are you hearing soft speaks? Mm. Okay, or loud. You know, so we want to check. So you would be wearing this and it's hooked up to a special device where we can check okay. to see how your hearing is at what frequency. So let's say you do have some form of hearing loss. Talk to us about hearing aids and some of the other devices. Well, we do have different type of hearing aids, analog, digital. So they amplify sound, but that doesn't mean you're going to understand. You can talk loudly to me, mm -hmm. but I may not be able to discriminate or know what word you said. So there's new digital devices that only amplify the sound that we want to hear and block out others mm. but for those with serious hearing loss we have cochlear implantation devices they go in the inner ear so there's many devices the main thing is to get checked and see what's right for you dr. Rob very quickly we always talk about this with headphones how do you know how loud is too loud we have about 20 seconds walk by someone if you can hear someone who has headphones in their ear you can hear what they're listening to way too loud 50% volume is the max you should ever use. So never at the top level. Never at the top. And if you're at a concert or you can't hear someone from this distance away, it's too loud. Walk away, put this in your ear, or put some type of earplugs in. Okay, Dr. Rob, you've given me a lot to think about. We've got to protect your young ears. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Dr. Rob. Jim, I'll send it back to you.